Greetings and welcome to another video, Make It Songbringer. I'm Wizard Fu. And uh, right now I'm working on this item. It used to be titled the Ring of Difficulty. That was sort of like a code name. It's basically an item you get that makes every enemy in the entire game more difficult. And the bosses will have all will all have um, different abilities and stuff. They'll be like basically all the bosses will be more difficult. They'll have more attacks and stuff like that. So it basically makes the entire game more challenging. Yet it gives you quite a big boost to your score. So you get like thirty three percent more score or something like that. So it's kind of a valuable item. It's sort of like changes and also it will add more mobs so there'll be different mobs to the game like all these new enemies that you can fight in the arena um they'll be spattered all throughout the whole game if you have this item um so it kind of changes the whole game gives you a different challenge it's just kind of like almost like playing zelda on the second quest or whatever something like that you know but so this is where you get the ring of difficulty well it's now called yale snare um, that's what the title I'm working for because it's Eale is the wall boss with all the eyes. His lore is that he was this alchemist that somehow accidentally turned himself into a wall. But anyway, so he was the kind of guy that tinkered with stuff. So I would imagine he would be the kind of um, enemy that would somehow build some kind of cursed ring like this. So if you have the. Basically, to get this. You need to have the, um, uh, you need to have the victor's emblem, and then you just basically come here, and this suit of armor falls down, and you get the ring. So what I'm working on right now is basically making this um, mechanically work, and also visually turn it into something better. So what'll happen is the victor's emblem will fly out of rock kind of like when you use um, the scanner drones or the bio detector and then it'll it'll fly up into the air flash a bit and then maybe the suit of armor will flash or there'll be like an emblem on the cryo chamber that flashes and um, actually yeah that's a good idea I'm gonna put an emblem on, on there so it's pretty clear like if you come into this room You'll see that emblem up here, way up on the top of this uh, crowd chamber up on the top there. Uh, there'll be an emblem that's just very similar to the Victor's emblem. And uh, so those will flash and sync and blah, 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 you get the ring. So um, mechanically, it's almost finished here. I want to do one more thing where if you already have it, um, he'll already, this suit of armor will already be on the ground. But that's pretty much all it's left to do mechanically. Alright, so I did this similar similar thing for Vel. I think Vel has two. She's Vel Chamber and Vel. Is there a Vel empty? That's is that the other one? Uh, how does Vel do her emptiness? Whatever. Let's go to area patterns and figure this out. Here's, oh uh, yeah, Vel empty is its own thing. Right, so you got the, oh, so Vel's is broken into two tiles. She's got an NPC tile and a MISC tile. Let's see how it um, creates the misc tile. So Vel is always Vel Chamber. Is that right? Uh, here we go. If Vel Chamber. Aha. Okay, this is how it works. So we'll do something similar for the this warrior. If it's uh, Vel. 
Warrior. That's how we did this. Yeah, Bell Warrior. And we have the ring of difficulty already. I think it's just the same exact thing as all this. Oh, we also need to do um, cage. Let's check that out. Test it, I mean. Ring, got it. Let's see what happens. Tits. I think one of the chambers is not empty though. There's two beams, carbine, carbine back. Um, and the story kills both of them. Oh, they both get set to empty. So we need to so we need to do another entity and call this one G. Actually, nah, let's do the loop. Still didn't do it. Hmm. Cryo beam. Oh, this one needs already empty. thing needs to go up a few pixels though. Oh, and the thing's still glowing. We probably need the same kind of thing. Oh, 
was that thing called? Cryo Glow. Better. All right, and if I were over here, we got, got good collision here. No, no. Cages, no. It's not good. Cage should be lower. This collision is like. Wait. It's like his collision is right, but he's. Offset, maybe. No, uh, no, no anchor offset. He's got a position offset. He needs to be at least wider. Oh, duh. Hmm. He's also got a text file. He's got all these other f flags which probably don't mean anything, do they? Pretty sure those are not even used. In fact, this whole thing, gosh. Yeah, that wasn't even being used. He doesn't walk. already being defined in line it's just not right to be trying to do it in two places Is 
an enemy to spawn. Oh, I got rid of his name somehow. I thought it was here. Maybe it wasn't. stuff oh here it is Oh, there's the name. Okay. Name's right here. Okay, that's just freaking me out. Why? something else. Oh, what? Ah, it's, it's crazy. He was only 10 tall, but like he was taking up at least two blocks worth. Like he was like 24 tall. That's crazy. Maybe it has something to do with this position. No, what? Wow, this is unfathomably weird. Maybe it has to do with the Z. Looks like it's it's high, it's like five, but so is everything else around it. So that's Set. Oh, sandbag souls. What? Maybe it's just not um, maybe when it creates
creates the misc tile. better but still not oh my god it's so confusing I don't know what it's doing that yeah maybe I should just ignore it for now focus on the more important parts oh it's driving me crazy though Yeah, well, I just gotta let it go for for the for now. There's not a ground offset already being applied somewhere. No, not here. Okay. Yeah, just gotta let it go. All right. So it's functionally good enough. Let's confirm that um, that it's off and then it's on. So sitting there, yep, okay. And if we Don't have the ring. We can trigger this event still. And if we walk off screen and come back, you should still be on the ground. Great. I even kept these up. That's cool. All right, all right. That is good enough to check in for now. my trackpad come back to me trackpad I would really like to use you right about now this is Photoshop we're talking about Son of a... really just no no more mouse no more trackpad <laughs> holy moly well keyboard it is we have to turn on mouse keys. All right, let's get this checked in so it can so we can start on the more 
Start on the animation parts. Gosh, I don't know if I have energy. It's late at night for me. Okay, so we added, yeah, modified all the entities, got rid of the cage.txt so it's not confusing. Added the story element where it just triggers the mechanics of it all. Make it so you can't pick it up with the top hat. Special case where to put it. Here's the code to turn it off if you already have it. And here's the modifications to that area. Okay, let's see what we can do about creating an animation. Starting an animation, maybe. I don't have much more time left. Tonight, it's late. My brain is shutting down already. Okay, um, we would do, we'd have to do a special animation or create an entity. We can special animation. I don't know why. Uh, action anims. This will be a special anim. Copy this one. My instinct says this is a good one to start with. Lightness, secret wall, outro, ending. Some of these have dashes, some of them are camel case. Looks like most of them are camel case. That one dashes was, I guess, a mistake. Oh. La 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 la. Do 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 do. Call this use victors and them. All right. We're going to have to create an enum almost guaranteed for this. Use victors emblem. Um, it's going to come out of the player. You can always find the player. I'm not sure if we even need any parameters. Let's just get that compiling then. But we don't really need any of this shit either. Use Victor's emblem. Um, oh, we might want to add a delay. Nah, we'll just 
use it in manually in the story. So we'll go, okay, so this starts with lock exits and nims use victor's emblem, right? And ims, that's how it always work? Yeah, and ims. Okay, that's, that would be it right there. All right, so let's start with something simple. We'll just create an, an M, a sprite with the victor's emblem that just flies into the air. Much like, much like the, um, the, the drones, is there a, it's gotta be a drone, here's the drones in M. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot like this. Copy this. Ooh, I'm gonna use it. Oh yeah. I just used the Vim shortcut I've not used very much. All right, um, use Victor's emblem. So do we go I just want it to fly into the air and flash around. It's not gonna need to like go in circles like the um, the drones do. We don't need multiple of the drones either. We really just need one of these. Um, I guess it'll just be movement and duration. Z, I guess you could have. Okay, let's do that. Movement duration. Duration. This is the... Three seconds, maybe. Movement, let's just say it flies up into the air about 40 pixels, maybe. Victor's emblem, which is what's the sprite name? Oh, we should just get the here. We'll just get this frame name. Maybe, maybe even the frame. Now we'll just get the frame name. Constants get item sprite frame name. Okay, item. Pause, I mean a pause. This is going to start at pause and just do its movement. Anchor middle. I guess so. And we probably want to go a little bit up. Like maybe, I think the rock is about 30 pixels tall. I'm guessing maybe a 16 or 18 pixels up in the air. To start, let's say 18. Keep seeing layer Z, hash VP, yeah, we need that, that and that. So use Victor's emblem. Okay, so that's gonna make it delete if it, if it ever needs to. Yeah, probably want to fade that in real quick. Fade to 255 or 0.2 seconds. Work. I'm not going to 
do it like this. Simpler. Ease exponential out. I'll make it fade in. Fade in quickly. I guess so. So is there anything I wanted to do with well, flashes? But that's not really. We wanted to like actually glow. They'll need a special animation. So really, there's no repeat. We're do the move, we also are going to do the animate. We'll save that for once we create it. So this is an east side out, yeah, that's right. Oops. Movement. This creates a circle gradient behind it. Oh, actually it might be cool, yeah. Circle gradient. Additive. Set color. Constant. Get another color. It's all right. Cross your fingers, any of this works at all. Yeah, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. It's like that's supposed to go away. All right, cool. It's a start. Can't believe it even got that far. All right, let's give this a color. It's all white right now. We should have saw something then. Victory V. Idea, but let's try red just to see if we have a color at all. Um, so we want it to fade out after a moment. Okay, so this is a sequence. I'm not sure if this will mess with the timing, so I'm just going to take that part out of there. Fade to. Do the, like duration times. Like an eighth of the duration fade in. We delay some time. Okay, so uh, we do need to break this into two separate durations. We've got a move duration, and then like a flash duration. Or we'll call this the NIM duration because it's gonna like have an animation.
should kind of do the opposite on the other way out. So this will be like, it waits most of the NM duration. Ooh. And then fades out during the last part of the NM duration. And then we'll also have a delay and an animate. So we delay for the entire move duration. And then we go animate, create, we'll pass in an animation. And I'm pretty sure that just takes like a, a frame format. Oh, there's more delay, restore, reverse. I think all those are all those are optional. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So this will be something like item victory. Since we don't have that created yet, we'll just like go what's the format for animate? Just takes nim just a pointer. Gotcha. All right. So this would be an an M. Model pointer. Oh, actually, this would be successful. We just need it like that for now. Oh, it needs to remove itself too. What? Hey, the mouse is working again. Where did that happen? Duration, whoops. Do, 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 do. Really? Coco's 2D, give me a break sometimes. Um, another one, duration, oh this is Either one of these durations. Let's make this way brighter so it, maybe it actually works. Maybe the scale was too small. Let's try everything. Oh, it's also got vex size sprite character notice. Hmm. Well, that should be good.
Okay, there. I see. It's got a net. Glow now. It's not going anyway. It didn't even fade out. Oh! Here's why it didn't fade out. Or remove itself. And if it went just a little higher. And if it flashed. I mean, something like that is kind of a good start. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I'll refine this tomorrow. i really like to add some kind of insignia or emblem to the top of this chamber thing up here. So that it makes sense, like when you, when you find this as a player, Maybe you don't have the victor's emblem yet, but you note that there. Maybe you're smart. You note that there's some emblem or insignia up there, and then later you get this when you beat the game, and you go, "Hey, maybe I should go back to that room." Put two two together, bam! You get this cursed item. Hooray! So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you. Catch you all next time. Wizard food's, wizard food's in his, wizard food's going, it's going down. <laughs>